The week of Monday, January 9th, update, still freezing in Metro Detroit. How is it where you are? So today I'm working on getting a new bumper on our website. It's a recessed winch bumper. I think we might call it the Expedition Series. We're still working on that. Uh, anyway, it's a great segue into what I want to talk about this week, which is prototyping. How long does it take to go from an idea to an actual product you can purchase? How many iterations does it usually take to get a product live? And how do we determine what product to make first? All good questions. Let's try and get some answers. Well, typically it's a product of necessity. It's a product developed from out wheeling or a friend or somebody that's in the wheeling and they need a product or have an idea. So that's cool news. Uh, I mentioned last week that we're right next door to the world-class manufacturing building for Chrysler and that was General Holyfield Jr. on the phone. He just gave us a call and want to use a couple of our Jeeps in a video they're shooting for um, the National Anthem. They play it before all the UAW events. So we're shooting that Friday. If they let me, I'll try and get some shots or some footage of the shoot so I can show you guys. So every Tuesday at 10 a.m., myself, Adam, the owner, AJ, our production manager, and Travis, our designer, get together and go over all the new products that we're working on. Um, they're all listed on this sheet, and that meeting's about to get started, so let's check it out. We can put it internally in a press. We have a big he enough press believes, to hit this, because this is a big piece. He believes, I don't know what tonnage press it'll take. But, but he believes we could do all of this in our press break. From we their, may be able to, it's just going to come uh, down to... Mike's standpoint was that he believed that we could be able to do that in our press break. Well, let's get a cost for tooling then. Yep, let's he's see working on together. it. Are the greatest idea this company has ever come across. I do love that idea. That is one fabulous idea. Who came up with the three to four weeks? Hey, is AJ there? Right. <laughs> Hi, AJ. Well, take the one off your daughter's Jeep and let me buy that one from you. I'm not going to do that, AJ. <laughs> uh, no, we want to buy one for... Older version, so I may change the sense then, so we need yeah. to make sure it lines up with the, yep. our tubular fenders and... That's a wrap on our weekly production meeting. We're gonna have a meeting tomorrow where we dive in a little bit deeper on a few of the products that we're closer to getting to market and uh, I'll give you guys a look at that as well. Uh, prototype takes a long time because in theory it should work, but by the time you put it together and put it on a vehicle, it doesn't necessarily fit, work, function. Cosmetically, it may not be correct. So we'll start over and reevaluate. And at that time, I mean, we might have new ideas and scrap the whole idea and start with something new. So. We made it out of the park the first time, or we may not. Perfect timing for this episode. The guys are in the shop. We're installing a standalone tire carrier on a customer's Jeep, and we're just test fitting up a prototype for a slant back option on that right now. So let's see what they're doing. This just, looks good. This just kind of looks like it's an add-on, so if we chop that off, and then we'll add a different white amount to put the vision on. So this is the This radius, so it has that support against the entire model. It depends on the product, depends how mechanical the, the product is. If it's just a simple bolt on part, if it has moving parts, um, if we like the design, if we like the concept, if it looks and operates properly on the vehicle. So there's anywhere from two days to two years, just depending on the product. And have we ever given up on products or changed our mind? I wouldn't know. I wouldn't say that we necessarily give up, but until I can find a better way to do it, I might back burner it. Um, it's just something I'm not going to release until it's right, and when we do release it, it's got to be knocked out of the park every time. I hear Adam and Travis talking prototypes. Let's go check it out. Yeah, and I think we just leave it like that. Come out this far. So I can 
to this line. See where this is? Yeah. 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 This line comes. Or this line comes up here, and then we'll come back. And that's how a lot of this works. They just we build a part, we draw it up, we build it, we test fit it, and once we look at it on a vehicle, that it comes off. Use a sharpie, mark it up, build another put it back on, see if we like that. So it's just iteration after iteration until it's just the way we want it. All right, Friday, time for the video shoot. We're gonna roll next door and hopefully I can get some footage of this. Let's go. All right, so we brought three Jeeps, we brought mine. We bought the JK8 and we bought this other one, uh, it's customers of ours. Alright, Jeeps are dropped off and uh, they're going to have the shoot and give us a call when they're all done. So, no footage of the shoot but we got the Jeeps there. Here's a great example of what Adam was just talking about. Um, many of you might recognize this. This is a trail door prototype. We had this at Jeep Beach a couple years ago and a lot of people thought we had abandoned this project but the truth is we've been working on it hard ever since. We didn't love the way the first version came out. It's bent in a press brake. The way the edges meet we didn't love. We went back to the drawing board and end up doing a stamped version. See this has a nice round edge. When it's all finished it's going to just look really clean and look great. And it's going to function great as well. When are these going to come to market? When are you going to be able to buy them? And the truth is, we don't know because like Adam said, it's not available until we feel it's ready to go and it's knocked out of the park. All right, that's it for episode two. Hope you guys learned a little bit about the prototyping process here at ACE. Um, as always, if you did like it, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, share the video, and comment down below. Let us know what you want to see in future vlog episodes. And check us out next Monday. We'll be back. We're going to do Meet an Ace Team Member, and next week, it's going to be Adam. See ya. All right, you got to start over. Turn that thing off. Turn it off. These aren't, these aren't valid questions because there's no answer to this. There's no, like the questions you're asking aren't, I can't answer those. <laughs>